Okay, so for those of you who saw my last video about certain radio stations being blank on this JVC head unit, um, I've been in contact with JVC themselves who seem to believe the head unit's at fault. Um, they're refusing to admit it's a software issue. However, I've managed to find an old copy of some software from a, a previous firmware version, loaded it on, and let's see if it works. So as we can see at the moment, this station is silent. If I move to another, we have sound. And if I go back, there you go. Sound. Absolute was one of the stations that had a problem. Another one. Country hits. Heart also had an issue as well just by scanning, but it um, looks like it's resolved it. So next thing I'm going to do now is reflash the new firmware. Wish me luck. Okay, so here I am just finishing up the last part of the update. Um, had to start the car because the battery was getting a bit low, but um, as we can see here, we are now updating the MCU. So once this is finished, head unit should reboot again, and then we'll see what happens with the DAB side of things. So, head unit's just finished its update now. Just wait for it to go through the boot sequence. Okay, so just going to turn off the demo, not going to worry about setting date and time, things like that. Let's see what happens this time. Okay. So, radio's doing its tuning thing now. This part's usually pretty quick, but once it's finished tuning, we'll be able to see if this has actually resolved the issue or not. If it has, great. Go back to an old version of firmware if you're having the same issue. If it hasn't, then clearly we have a, a firmware issue with the latest software from JVC. Um, it's up to yourselves whether you want to uh, stick with this firmware or whether you want to go back to the original one. Um, personally, the radio stations that I have problems with are ones I listen to a lot, so if this doesn't work, chances are we'll go back to the older version of firmware for now and I'll be sending everything over to JVC. Uh, right, okay, so Absolute Classic Rock is now on. Now, this station has problems if I change using the previous and next or steering controls. So, let's see what happens if I go away from it. Okay, so that one works fine. Now if we go back, that same station that was working previously on the old firmware is now no longer working again. Let's check the others. So, there you go. It's a firmware issue, not, not an issue with the stereo itself, but actual software, because if I go here, and then go on heart through there. We get the sound back. Then we'll move away. And go back to it. Same again, no sound. So hopefully, now that JVC have seen me do this, they might have something else they can recommend to try and get to the bottom of this issue. Thanks.